of the Pledge of Allegiance by Jerry Irvin. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, everybody please silence their phone. We'll have our invocation by Reverend Jeff Maddows. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you. I appreciate you allowing me to come. Thank you so much. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. We can freely assemble ourselves together in this wonderful country that you have blessed us with. Father, we ask that your peace be amongst us right now. We ask you, Lord, as we do business today, that you would lead us and you would guide us by your love and by your wisdom. Direct our path. Help us, God, to come to the correct conclusions according to your will, God. Bless your people today, Father. We want to thank you, Father, that we're about to uh, celebrate a day that a lot of countries cannot celebrate. We want to celebrate Independence Day. And Lord, we want to thank you for our freedom. We want to thank you for the sacrifices made because we know this freedom came at a heavy price. And so we want to stop and give you the glory for it. And Lord, we want to let you know that we appreciate it and we don't take it for granted. And Lord, we give you the glory and we give you all the praise. Now God, we ask you today to be with us and direct us. Bless the mayor. Lord, we appreciate our leaders and we thank you for them. Ask you, Lord, to bless all the board of directors here. Lord, every leader in our community, God, we ask you to touch. We ask you to protect. Give them peace. Lord, we pray and ask you, Father, to bless our police department, fire department, our schools. We ask you, Father, you would give us peace and protection. Lord, and touch our young people every situation that we're dealing with in our country. Lord, and in our uh, federal, civic, all the different areas of our country, God, we know that there is an answer. We're just simply asking you to help us. We're but men and we need your help. We ask you to lead and guide today. Lord, every person that stands up here behind this podium, ask you to be with them and let us come to the right conclusions and decisions concerning things that would help our community, Lord, and help us to help others. And Lord, we'll forever give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Okay, again, if everybody would just silence their phones. Oops. Okay, we'll have roll call, please. Tim Barron? Here. Tim Bentley? Here. Jerry Irvin? Here. Annette Reedman? Okay, we have enough for a quorum. Is there any, uh, you have the minutes of the meetings on June 18th. Is there any additions or corrections? Make a motion to accept the minutes. Sorry. Okay, a motion and a second. All in favor, second by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Same sign. Okay, go on down to item three, new business. Item A, uh, Louisville Sluggers. On July 21st, too, for the Community Christian School. Yes, Go hey, ahead. I'm Carrie Lewis. For those of you that don't know, know me, I'm one of the teachers at Community Christian School, and we are working at expanding our school, um, the building where the office is, to make that our new high school. We have a new potential student that is going to be in a wheelchair, and the school where it is, we do not have an elevator or any. Um, way to get her up and down stairs. So we would request a bucket drive to benefit the expansion of the school to help set up some classrooms there behind the office. And then the second bucket drive is um, for the Louisville Sluggers. Um, it is a softball fast pitch travel team and um, they made all American team, especially my daughter is one of them on the team, and to request a bucket drive to help with the expenses to go to Florida. Okay, is there any questions for her? Motion to approve uh, both requests. And second. We have a motion and second to, to do the uh, request for the bucket drive for Community Christian, the Louisville Sluggers. All in favor, Sigma saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Yeah, that takes care of that. Okay. Joyce is not going to be here today, and um, she has included the package awards in the packets. Um, there was two people that submitted um, bids 
um, Don O. Corn and Sons have won these bids. Um, the 206 Kill Street for 14,100, where Hopkins had bid um, 26,250. And what they bid, and um, she, not everything is being done to the houses that what they had requested to bid. So that's why the Dono Corn and Sons was rewarded less than hit their original bid of 17,300. And uh, they also received the bid, won the bid on uh, 412 Beach Street at 13,400 where Hopkins had um, quoted 23,230. Their original bid on DO Corn was 16,700. They also uh, won the award for 124 Newkirk Avenue with at 27,324. Hopkins no quoted that location. They also got uh, 20, 729 North Green Avenue for 11,900, where Hopkins had bid that at 14,980. And D.O. Corn also got the award for 108 Kell Street at 16,900, where Hopkins had bid 47,170. Hopkins Home Improvement won three bids, 2101 Indiana Avenue at 19,850, where D.O. Corn had bid um, 25,150. They also won 904 West 10th Street at 13,150. And D.O. Corn did a no quote on that location. Hawkins also won the third location of 22,223 Western Avenue at 22,480, where um, D.O. Corn did a no quote on that location. Okay, I need a motion to accept the bids. Second. <clears throat> we have a motion to second. Is there any more discussion? If not, all in favor signify saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Item C, approval of consultant contract with Butler, Fairman, and Seifert for the INDOT sidewalk project. Diane? <clears throat> hey, Steve, how you doing? <laughs> um, I believe a copy of the contract was in everyone's packet. It's just the standard NDOT contract between um, the LPAs and the consultants. Uh, Mr. Bush has looked that over and um, given us his approval as well. That will be for the um, construction engineering of the project, preliminary engineering. Okay, Dave, you said you looked over this? Yes, I have, and uh, it uh, looks like the city is well protected under the provisions of this contract, and I, I'm told by Diana we've had numerous contracts just similar to this over the course of the years when I wasn't involved that were, uh, the wording of these contracts all approved by NDOT, so. Okay. Need a motion. So I'll moved. Second. So a motion to second. To improve the contract for, 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 with, uh, with Butler. All in favor, signify saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Diana. On item D, uh, Kelly, right now, HPC, we're going to let HPC recommend a person to us because they're the ones that take care of the city cemetery, and this is for the city. HPC. Okay, historic preservation. And so, what we want them to do is make, because they want to make a, a Brad, you want to get up and talk about that? You're, you're the president of HPC. Why we're wanting to do this? No, uh, yes. Here. That's what you get for being here. <laughs> well, he's had, he's had historic preservation, and uh, we've had these before, and nobody knows what's getting done, and we want to have one organization who takes care of it. So go ahead. And... Thank you. I already told him everything. <laughs> we, this is just for accountability. Um, each year, I don't know how many years, 
this has went back, but for numerous years, the city always pays somebody to work on broken stones and all that. And the Historic Preservation Commission is going to start to take an inventory, and that way we can keep track of which ones have been worked on and what areas they were in, and maybe that'll help us prevent for future vandalism in the cemetery if we know exactly which ones are getting broken. So we all thought, including the mayor in our, in our last meeting, we talked about it and thought that it would be a good idea if we ran the um, quotes through the historic preservation so that somebody could just be keeping an eye on what what's done, what's been accomplished. Okay. Thank you, Brad, for that. Okay, so we're going to table that until we hear from the HPC. Okay, opening the bids for Riff, uh, River's Edge Phase 1. We did not receive any. <coughs> we didn't receive any. So, okay, going down to item F, the, the, the park grievance. I think our committee met with their the union committee, and what was the... I'd like to make a motion, Mr. Mayor, that we grant the grievance. We have a motion. Okay. And a second. Is there any discussion? Okay, if not, all in favor accepting the park grievance? Say by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Abstain. Okay. So uh, we we will notify the, the street department that we Okay, on going down the department matters. Utility department. Brad? I'm bringing a task order to you today from Strand. We've been working on the digester improvements and we decided this was the next step in improvements at the wastewater plant. We decided to lump two smaller projects together and if they are done at the same time, we'll gain efficiencies through like what it costs you to mobilize a contractor to come in and work on stuff. So this was another project that we could afford to do. And what it'll do, the reason we moved it up front is because um, the grinders, when the sewage first comes in the sewage plant, it hits these grinders and it chews everything up. Well, they're getting old and antiquated and we keep, we keep spending probably, I bet we've spent $50,000 keeping those things going over the last couple of years. What we'll be doing is going to a bar screen that will catch all that stuff. And uh, although, there's a, although there's a pretty good upfront investment, this will be more efficient. It'll be more energy efficient. And um, it's just a better process altogether. So what we're asking for now is money to um, help design this improvement help design the improvement that we're wanting to do and we'll be coming back to you later with a cost and a way to pay for it. So you're just wanting our blessing, so to speak. Want your blessing and want you to sign this task order to agree to pay $33,000 to have this designed. It's probably gonna be like a million, about a million dollars to build it. Make a motion to accept it. Second. <coughs> Okay, motion to second. All in favor, signal saying aye. 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 All opposed. Thank you, Brad. You got anything else? Yeah. While I'm up here, I wanted to give you a report on our concert. Um, we were lucky enough a week or so ago to get a $10,000 donation towards the expenses of the contract. Um, and we've been getting a lot of sponsors, so everything's going. We're well on track for the expenses of the concert to be paid for. Okay where all of our ticket sales should be profit. So everything we make on food and... Uh, well, how's the ticket sales coming? They've been sort of slow, but we haven't really focused on that. We've been focusing on... Some more news that I have is that we decided that we needed to sell tickets locally somewhere. So we're getting some tickets. Some of the tickets will be printed up where people can go and actually buy them at the park maybe at the utilities. I don't know exactly where yet. Hopefully one of the banks will help us sell them. So everything's well, everything's going good. I just kind of wanted to give you a report on it, especially on that $10,000 donation. That was quite a boost. 
It is good news. Yeah. People taking an interest. Thank you, Brad. Okay, going down to item five. Is there any old business? Is there any miscellaneous business? Okay, as most of you know, about uh, well, four or five months ago, we had a paramedic quit. And we've been hunting a replacement for him. We finally came up with one this past week. And his name's Jim Wolf. He is a part-time medic for us now. And I'd like permission to hire him as a full-time uh, paramedic. Second. We have a motion second to hire Jim Wolf as a full-time paramedic. All in favor, say saying, saying aye. Uh, aye. All opposed. Okay. Thank you. All right, that was easy. <laughs> okay, going down to item seven, claims. All right, for the city, we had a total of $285,050.27. On the utility side, our total was $208,336.81. We need a motion to approve. So moved. All right. We have a motion second to approve the claims as presented. All in favor, signal saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, thank you. Now, everybody gets their checks. Okay, going down the public forum. Is there anyone that would like to speak to any subject? <laughs> okay, if not, we'll go on down to item nine. Need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay, a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor, signal saying aye. 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 All opposed? Adjourned.